yes, hello students so in previous video we discussed about the basic characters of monera so we discussed about the habitat they are universally present in all type of habitat we talked about the nutrition in monera monera so all type of nutrition autotrophic nutrition like in cyanobacteria or blue green algae they may be photosynthetic or chemotrophic similarly they are heterotrophs also when they are heterotroph they may present as a parasite or sometime act as pathogen on the plants and animals similarly they may be symbiotic also or they may be free living also when we talk about respiration member of monera so both the kind of respiration aerobic and anaerobic then we discussed about the detail structure of the cell generally they have plasma membrane presence of cell wall and in certain member of monera or certain bacteria also have the presence of capsule or uh, that is also known as glycocalyx that may be moist uh, slimy or there may be a resin that is the extra protective layer along with this there may be presence of flagellated uh, means presence of flagella presence of cilia right type of ribosome is 70s type of ribosome that are present and the nuclear region where the genetic material is present is called nucleon now when we talk about reproduction in monera being unicellular they commonly reproduce by simple cell division and that simple cell division we can write as the binary fusion many members of prokaryotes reproduce by spore formation these spores may have thick wall and that help them to overcome the harsh conditions or that make them survive in the different extreme conditions so like echinets are the kind of spores which are very thick walled so spore formation some of the uh, member of monera like cyanobacteria may reproduce by even fragmentation being unicellular prokaryote they may reproduce by fragmentation like uh, filaments of cyanobacteria divide into fragment and they may produce a new organism along with this when you come to the sexual reproduction they show conjugation in conjugation two cells of different strains come together and there is formation of cytoplasmic strain and through this cytoplasmic strain these cells exchange the genetic material and that lead to recombination next method they may reproduce sexually by transduction or transformation so transformation is generally carried out by the viruses like bacteriophage where the foreign gene or segment of dna is introduced into the bacteria and due to that the bacteria undergoes some phenotypic changes there is change in some visible traits that is transformation so they have very simple method of sexual reproduction and uh, here only the there is no as being unicellular there is no reproductive uh, cells are formed there is no fusion of reproductive cells or like term like fertilization we are not using here here simply a uh, certain part of dna is exchanged and that lead to formation of recombinant or new strains after talking about the general methods of uh, reproduction if we uh, look into the different type of bacteria okay or mem different type of monarians one of the very important type is archaeobacteria and another one is eubacteria archaeo or stand for the ancient bacteria and u bacteria means true bacteria so archaeo bacteria this is the first group and second group we can write as the u bacteria so please remember all the bacteria 
The first domain is archaeobacteria and second domain is eubacteria. These are the true bacteria, these are the bacteria which are advanced than the archaeobacteria. Most primitive type of bacteria are called archaeobacteria. Archaeobacteria is stand for the ancient. These are the ancient bacteria which are present from the uh, beginning, means when the life is originated. From that time they are exist. They are unique because they uh, even survive in most extreme and harsh conditions. The habitat where no organism can survive. Archaeobacteria are present. So let's, let's go into some detail of archaeobacteria first and then we will cover the eubacteria. So these are the ancient bacteria. Most important point found in extreme habitats. So if you think about the extreme habitats, they even found in the habitats like uh, extreme low temperature, extreme high temperature or even they are found in the hot springs. Hot springs where we can see the presence of boiling water. Then they may present in highly saline water saline water or haline water or in other words you can say they are found in the extreme salty water they even may present in the marshy area means where even there is no presence of oxygen they may found in the gut of animals gut of animal intestine of animal is also considered as the extreme habitat. So they have certain structural features that they that these help them to survive in these kind of extreme habitats. So bacteria which are found in hot springs are <coughs> called thermoacidophiles. Bacteria which are found in the Marsi area or methanogens which produce the methane. Bacteria which are found in the saline water, extreme haline water, these are called halophiles. So likewise we use different terms. So let's first of all talk about the bacteria which are found in the hot springs. These are called thermo means heat, thermoacidophiles. Example of this bacteria we can remember is Thermos aquaticus. This is very important bacteria. Thermoacidophile means these are found in extreme hot water, boiling water. So, how they are able to survive there? They are highly resistant to the heat, resistant to heat. They can even survive with a temperature of 70 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius or more than it. So this is very interesting that uh, other organisms cannot survive because their enzymes get denatured when they are present at that much of high temperature. Okay, so they can live in the at the extreme heat and uh, the pH of that area is also quite uh, low. Okay, so in this pH may be around 2. So that is highly acidic. Other organisms cannot survive in such kind of extreme low pH or extreme heat conditions. So these are the extreme environment. They respire because there will be no oxygen, they respire anaerobically. Then there will be presence of uh, sulfur or in other words we can say there is presence of sulfuric acid. These bacteria are generally chemotropic. Chemotropic means they uh, synthesize their food using the chemicals. Particularly they use sulfur and they produce the energy using sulfur. This is very interesting and important. These bacteria have most important features that uh, presence of thermostable enzymes. They have presence of thermostable enzyme. So these thermostable enzyme uh, continue their, their metabolism in this kind of extreme environment also. 
these enzymes are uh, extracted and nowadays widely used in the uh, biotechnology or in the genetic engineering and particularly these are used in the technique that is called PCR polymerase chain reaction you will learn about polymerase chain reaction where in vitro synthesis or amplification of DNA is uh, carried out so their enzyme work at high temperature as well as at the low pH right they have some unique features in their cell wall cell wall is basically not made up of peptidoglycan as we mentioned cell wall have some carbonated cellulose and this carbonated cellulose is present and there is a modification in the structure of uh, plasma uh, membrane also okay and there is a presence of capsule these all features help them to survive in such kind of extreme condition these are also we consider them as the sulfur bacteria also they are chemotropic next category we can take is methanogens methanogens means they generate or produce methane and they are found in the another extreme habitat that is the marshy area or in other word we say uh, they are found in the area where there is no oxygen without oxygen they survive and they produce the methane this kind of bacteria even found in the intestine or gut of the uh, cattles and uh, they are found you know we know that methane producing means they like methanococcus so these bacteria produce the methane commonly known as biogas if we look into the compo uh, composition of biogas uh, around 70 percent uh, methane is present so these bacteria are basically methane producing bacteria they are found in the dung of animals they are found in the intestine of the Cattles. Okay, so example that is the methanobacteria or methanobacillus. So this bacteria marsh area, you can remember the example is a methanobacterium or these are methanobacillus. These bacteria are very important. Methanobacillus, methanobacterium. They have some economic importance also because they help in production of gobar gas or biogas, marsh area. You know, methane is considered uh, as one of the uh, greenhouse gas, okay, which is generally produced from the marshy land. When the vegetation gets submerged, there uh, these bacteria are present. Halophiles means the bacteria which are generally found in the saline water, highly saline water. Like we take example of uh, Dead Sea or uh, any part of the sea where the concentration of salt is very high. No organism can maintain their osmolarity. In that habitat also halophiles are present. And these bacteria are also anaerobic, they are also chemotropic and uh, they are highly adapted to they have certain pigments like uh, halorhodopsin with help of them they carry out the formation of their nutrients they help in nutrients and that prevent them from the dehydration also so example uh, uh, is very important we can write here example of saline uh, or halophile halophiles halobacterium which are found in the extremely saline water, extremely saline, this is very important, so they generate energy uh, using these are, these are sometimes called uh, purple bacteria also, sulfur producing the purple bacteria, so these are the some type of archaeobacteria, ancient bacteria, these are the uh, bacteria which are present from the beginning of the life on the earth. Another category of bacteria uh, they have some economic importance also, they help us to understand the evolution of life on the earth. Okay, the enzyme extracted from these are uh, generally used in different technologies like in tissue culture or in the biotechnology or genetic engineering. Right. Second major domain of bacteria is eubacteria or that is called uh, true bacteria. Eubacteria, or these are called true bacteria. Eu means true. These are commonly known as true bacteriums. 
So here I tell some of the bacteria we are going to take is cyanobacteria or cyanobacteria are also known as blue, green algae. These are known as blue green algae. So we will not go into the uh, structural part because already we have discussed the structure of cell. If we talk about these bacteria, these are autotropic or in other words we can say they are photosynthetic aquatic bacteria. Photosynthetic bacteria. They are found in fresh water as well as in the uh, sea water and some of the members may found in the moist means they may be terrestrial also. They are generally filamentous. If we look into their structure, they are uh, filamentous. Okay. Uh, they actually have a Like we talk about this is they have a slimy layer over it. Okay, this is they are colonial, they make the colony, they are prokaryote, so they are not multicellular. They are present as the filament, they are uh, colonial, and there is a presence of mucilage layer or mucilaginous layer over them. So this is very important to remember. They are protected inside mucilaginous layer. Okay. In this, some cells uh, are very unique and they have thick cell wall. They have thick cell wall, impregnable uh, cell wall. They have thick, they have thick cell wall, and uh, <coughs> these thick cell wall cells are called. Heterocyst. This is very important to remember. Some cells are thick cell walled, and these thick cell walled uh, cells play very important role in nitrogen fixation. These cells help in nitrogen fixation because nitrogen fixation required anaerobic condition, and that provide anaerobic condition. Thick cell wall is make them impermeable to the so heterocyst make cell impermeable to oxygen. So they provide anaerobic condition and uh, there are presence of certain enzymes, nitrogenase enzymes, which help in heterocyst help in. Nitrogen fixation that help in nitrogen fixation. This is very important. So please remember the specialized cell called heterocyst. A uh, very important character of this cell is uh, they are thick walled and uh, impermeable to the oxygen, and this is essential for the nitrogen fixation. Okay, then certain members of cyanobacteria or blue green algae are present as colony also so they not only they are present as the filamentous they are colonial also so examples we will remember are nostoc oscillatoria anabina they have economic importance the most important economic importance is the nitrogen fixation they help in atmospheric nitrogen fixation they are phototropic, they have thylakoids, they don't have plastids as being prokaryotes. They have thylakoid plates and with the help of thylakoid plate they absorb the radiation, sunlight. And they convert this radiation energy into the uh, chemical energy. And these are the one of the very important producer, most primitive producer present in the aquatic habitat. So, uh, that is all about the cyanobacteria. Uh, structure when you look into they have 70 uh, S type of ribosome uh, they have presence of cell wall which is made up of peptidoglycan or there may be presence of cellulose also. So
so this is all about the type of bacteria archaea bacteria and u bacteria so we will uh, continue about the protista in the next video